Is Russia soon going to ban XRP and all cryptocurrencies? What does this mean for famously known cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum? Will this be the right decision by Russia? If you want to learn all about it, keep watching this video to find out more. Welcome viewers to Pianta Crypto. Here we bring you the latest updates on cryptocurrencies. Please hit the subscription button, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Russia's central bank has become the latest about the anchors on crypto asset investing for its citizens potentially. According to reports like many before it the central bank has cited risks to financial stability. According to a December 16th Reuters report citing financial market sources close to the bank, the Russian central bank wants to ban crypto investing within the country the report stated that Russian regulators have long echoed the sentiment that cryptocurrencies can be used for money laundering and terrorism financing. They have been banned as a means of payment but were permitted for trading and investment in 2020. It appears that the central bank is now seeking to overturn that as well. Russia's central bank is seeking to ban cryptocurrency investments escalating the financial authorities' long-standing skepticism toward Bitcoin and other digital tokens. The ban would prevent future transactions but not forced current holders to divest their portfolios. Russia has argued for years against cryptocurrencies saying they could be used in money laundering or to finance terrorism it eventually gave them legal status in 2020 but banned their use as a means of payment. The central bank is now talking with market players and experts about a possible ban, if approved by lawmakers it could apply to new purchases of crypto assets but not to those bought in the past. Said one of the financial market sources who requested anonymity due to the matter sensitivity authorities in Russia have long held that cryptocurrencies can be used for money laundering and finance terrorism. One source told Reuters that the bank's current position is a complete rejection of all cryptocurrencies. However, it is working on a ruble-backed digital currency of its own. In 2019 the country reportedly invested in crypto to limit the impact of sanctions for meddling in the 2016 US election. However, the country's central bank did give digital currencies legal status in 2020 but it prohibited using them as a means of payment. As it contemplates this larger ban the central bank issued new rules for mutual funds in Russia earlier this week saying funds were prohibited from investing in cryptocurrencies or financial instruments the value of which depends on the prices of digital currencies. Crypto trading is a notable business in Russia annually roughly $5 billion in crypto transactions occur and one estimate shows that nearly 12% of the population already owns crypto compared to a little over 8% of the US population. The possible crackdown comes on the heels of China ramping up efforts to ban crypto mining earlier this year. In September that country central banks at all cryptocurrency transactions are illegal and must be banned. An article was just released a few days ago and will impact the crypto market in multiple ways, this is because they feel it will put the financial market in jeopardy, Russia isn't the only country that appears to be concerned about the cryptocurrency sector because of the growing amount of altcoins some countries are still wary of the crypto sector this prohibition will restrict any future transactions forcing crypto dealers to sell their holdings. Here's the thing which claims that prohibiting the use of cryptocurrencies will assess the situation. Yes actually the restriction helps prevent money laundering and other forms of financial terrorism from taking place through cryptocurrency. We all know that cryptos have a poor reputation due to their inability to be traced it is untraceable which implies that it can still be used anonymously. We are not attempting to incite any negative action but it is believed that the Russian central bank is dealing with the Bitcoin sector incorrectly. The central bank's current approach appears to be an outright rejection of all cryptocurrencies in 2020. The same central bank granted cryptos legal status but also restricted the likelihood of cryptos being utilized as payment methods. In any case the crypto world has managed to survive earlier this year in September the country declared all crypto trends. Actions illegal, and subsequently outright banned them since then this prohibition is follow China's ban on cryptocurrency mining. In a Friday press conference Central Bank of Russia Governor Elvira Nabiulina further escalated the fear uncertainty and doubt FUD surrounding the state of crypto regulation in the country. When asked about the rise of digital assets now Belina gave the following remarks as reported by local news outlet Finmarket.ru, and translated by Cointelegraph you know that our attitude towards cryptocurrencies is off to put it mildly skepticism the significant risks for retail investors and the substantial volatility for this type of asset are related to this in addition cryptocurrencies are opaque and that they are frequently used for illegal operations or criminal nature therefore we cannot welcome investments in them we seek to prevent the Russian financial infrastructure from using crypto transactions this is quite doable.
Nephew Leader's remarks came one day after conflicting reports pointed to the possibility of a blanket ban on cryptocurrency exchanges in Russia. As Cointelegraph recently reported concerns about crypto have even made their way to the presidential office with Vladimir Putin issuing a warning about digital assets. In context countries of the former Soviet Union remain far more susceptible to financial crimes, such as money laundering or tax evasion than their western counterparts. This is because the privatization of state enterprises from the breakup of the USSR concentrated power in the hands of individuals who possessed enough capital to purchase shares at that time. Mafias gangs and black market participants, the anonymous borderless instantaneous and regulatory lacking nature of crypto would be a greater enabler of criminal activities in the region. Partly to combat the problem Russia is prioritizing the development of a regulatory compliant digital ruble as a sizable competitor to cryptos developed in the private sector. Central Bank First Deputy Governor Kasinha Udeva said this month that cryptocurrencies increasing popularity raised concerns about risks to financial stability, the situation in developed market countries more and more resembles the so-called shadow financial system. Udeva wrote in an article adding that the use of cryptocurrencies lower the efficiency of monetary policies pointing to China's experience she said Russia needed a further adjustment of cryptocurrency regulation. In September China intensified its crackdown on cryptocurrencies with a blanket ban on all crypto transactions and mining getting Bitcoin and other major coins and pressuring crypto and blockchain related stocks. Meanwhile the Bank of Russia plans to issue its digital ruble joining the global trend to develop digital currencies to modernize financial systems speed up payments and counter potential threat from other cryptocurrencies. Reuters reported that the central bank talks with market players and experts about a possible outright ban. One source stated that it could apply to new crypto purchases but may not apply to those bought previously. Another source close to the Bank of Russia said the central bank's current position was a complete rejection of all cryptocurrencies. The bank has stated that it is preparing an advisory report to update the situation but did not confirm or deny that it would ban crypto trading and investing. According to central bank data Russia's annual crypto trading volume is around $5 billion. The situation in developed market countries more and more resembles the so-called shadow financial system. Stated Central Bank First Deputy Governor Kasinha Udeva in September the Russian Central Bank started delaying payments in crypto exchanges.